Hi everyone, it's Crystal and I'm an independent Sensi consultant. So today's video is going to be part two of my uh, Sensi haul. So um, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, got a lot of wax here and um, I want to say almost half and half between me and a customer. Uh, sorry, a couple customers, but you know. Okay, so uh, first thing I'll show you is mine. I know that for a fact. I ended up ordering... Uh, three of the totally minis. Now, um, got my trusty catalog here, so I'm going to go over the scent uh, notes here. Totally mini. It says part classy, part sassy, the sweet blend of pink melon, hibiscus blooms, and juicy apple. It's full of fun and totally mini. So it's pink melon, hibiscus bloom, and juicy apple. And this scent here, um, it's really good. I've tried it in the scent circle uh, in my vehicle and I love it. So I just went ahead and got a, a six pack of the Disney bars and I did three totally mini and I did three of the oh boy. This one here I put in my husband's vehicle uh, in the scent circle to try it out. Oh, so good. So um, this one here is uh, it says oh boy in honor of a true original juicy grapefruit cheerfully mixed with bright clementine and sugared vanilla. So Grapefruit, clementine, and vanilla, or sugared vanilla. Yeah, to me, it's not heavy grapefruit, so my husband never complained about it in his vehicle. That was like a little sneaky thing I did. <laughs> but this is really good. I find it's more clementine um, than the grapefruit. Um, can't wait to melt this. Uh, now, I heard they're kind of on the light side, but... You know, everyone's house is different. Everyone has different sized houses, different sized rooms, different things in their house. So um, um, if someone else says that it's really light, you know, take it with a grain of salt and just give it a try. And especially if you try it maybe in one room and it's not working out so well, don't give up. Try it in other rooms because there's some sense that I've tried in like my main areas that didn't work so well, but worked better in the bedroom or bathroom, that kind of thing. So before you give up on a wax... Uh, I definitely recommend you trying it in different rooms and seeing how that goes. Uh, I always start with one cube and then I bump it up to two if necessary. All right, so that's those, that's six pack of the Disney bars. Okay, so next it's all regular bars. Let me just go over there in the catalog. All right, so... Ba, 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 ba. Where am I? Okay, so between me and a customer... I think I ordered one and I think the customer ordered two is um, Watermelon Tangerine. This was a limited edition released last summer. Uh, it's, hang on, let me get this up. No, it's Sweet Watermelon Slices Spiked with Juicy Tangerine and Dewy Greens. I find this one is more uh, watermelon than tangerine. And um, I guess I, I, there's Dewy Greens in here. I'm not noticing it too much, but I don't have like the, the, the bestest of the best of noses, you know? So that's uh, Watermelon Tangerine. I'm glad that they put that one in the catalog. I actually, I enjoyed, enjoyed that one when they released that three pack last summer. Uh, next is um, Rainbow Sherbet. That's for a customer. It says uh, Orange Zest, Sugared Strawberry, and Key Lime. Um, this one here, I found it too like sugary sweet for me when I tried it. It was just a little too much. Um, but I know a lot of people like it. It's really popular and it's really strong. Yeah, this is, I get that. Let's see here. What is it? I get the lime and I get the, the orange and strawberry. I can see it. Yeah, it's, it, it's nice. I'm, maybe I'll give it another try, but I remember when I did order a bar last year, I had to like tone it down with some vanilla bean buttercream or sugar cookie. Um, so we'll see. Uh, next up here I've got... Uh, this is for a customer. It's called Mystery Man. This has been around forever. Very popular. It's warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot. Uh, this customer ordered two. And it's nice blue wax. And I've never personally melted this, but um, I had it in the, the car bar clip. It's very strong. It's a really nice uh, manly smell. I really enjoy this. Mystery Man. Very strong, too, from what I hear. Uh, next up, Mocha Doodle. This was gone for a while and then they brought it back. It says here it's delicious roasted coffee beans and cocoa balanced with sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. Um, I've tried it before. To me, it was like, a, mm, I don't remember it, you know, standing out so much. So I definitely wanted to try another bar and give it a shot. Um, I guess you can kind of get the coffee. I feel like I get the cocoa more. We'll see. Because I really like coffee scents. Um, Mocha Doodle. Next up is, oh, 
my husband's favorite scent, Blue Grotto. I ended up ordering two bars of Blue Grotto. This one's described as uh, run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus, and lush botanicals. To me, this is like a, a tropical citrusy drink. Mm, it's really nice, really fruity, and very strong in the summertime. Or any time of the year it's strong, I should say. But it, it's perfect for the summertime. Uh, next up, what do I got here? Okie dokie. Um, very bright. Nice blue wax. Blue raspberry, fresh clementine, and sugar plum. Now, to me, I find this smells like a blue raspberry slushy. It's really nice. It's really strong. And I love putting this one in my home. Uh, I got this recently. Uh, if you saw my part one, I got it in the cardboard clip. So I'm really excited to try that in my vehicle. So that's very bright. Next up, one of my um, favorites ever apple cherry strudel it says granny smith apple cherry and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first so i got two of those for me because i love it and it's beautiful red wax it smells really really good to me in my home it's a really strong scent it just doesn't last as long as you know the normal scentsy wax lasts i find it lasts about half the time but i i love it so much i don't care and it's that strong i find you get the apple the cherry that vanilla Drizzle, it's so good. Apple cherry strudel. If you haven't tried it, but it sounds like something you'd like, I highly recommend it. I really enjoy that one. All right, let's keep going. What else we got here? Oh, almond croissant. Uh, this one here, fresh baked croissants made even more heavenly with cinnamon, sugar, and an infusion of almond. This one I really enjoy. Um, I'm glad they kept it around for the bakery. Oh, for the bakery lovers, I was going to say, it's so good. I really like this one. Mm, really good. Um, let's see what else we've got. Uh, fruity. Gogo Mango is the one I'm trying to find. Oh, there it is. Gogo Mango. So a customer got two bars of Gogo Mango. I've had this before in the wax and in the pods. It says juicy mango and melon garnished with hibiscus and sweet banana flower. Hibiscus is pretty popular. Um, so it's a nice pinky wax. This one here, I remember trying a bar of it and I had put it in my living room kitchen area we went for a walk and when we got home i remember walking the house and like just forgetting what i'd melted and be like what is that and uh yeah i really enjoy it and i find every summer i tend to get a few bars and it's been around for a long time i've had the cleaning products it's really good i know some people uh say um it's not the strongest uh for them for me i've never had an issue and um i prefer it in the wax over the pods for some reason but that's just to, to say so that was google mango uh, another one we've got here, hibiscus pineapple. This was a new release last year, and I'm really glad they brought it back. It says hibiscus pineapple and a touch of sweet mandarin. I think that hibiscus. Really cute pink color. Oh, I'm so glad they put this in the body care line because it's perfect for the body care line. Uh, if you watch part one, I got this one in the, I believe, the body wash and the big body cream bottle. Really excited about that. I got it in the pods. So hibiscus pineapple, for me anyways, really good scent. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, one I've never tried before is strawberry rose. Sweet blend of mouth-watering strawberries, soft rose petals with a touch of sheer musk. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I don't like rose. So this one was a gamble for me. I hesitated this long because, well, okay, first of all, if you would know, strawberry rose was released last year as a um, scent of the month. I want to say February, I think. And I just, the moment I heard rose, I was like, no thanks, I'm out. Done. No thanks. Just like that uh, Petal Pals. I was like, mm, no thanks. Um, but people kept saying that they're not smelling the rose. So I decided to give it a shot, especially since it came back in the catalog. Um, so we'll see. I like strawberry scent. So. Okay, I'm not smelling rose at all on the front, though. Let me smell the bottom. I'm not really smelling rose. It's different. It's like strawberries and something, but I'm not getting rose. Let me just see what it says here. Strawberries, rose petal, musk. Okay, well, not so scared to try it now. This almost smelled sweet to me anyways. Candy-like? I don't know. We'll try it. Strawberry rose. Let me know if you've tried that one down below and what you think of that. Um, another one I've got here is Here Come the Sunflowers. This was a new release last year. I ended up really loving it. This one is described as sun-kissed petals, fruity musk, celebrate all things spring with a sweet pop of strawberry. Strawberry is pretty popular too, I find this catalog. So it's a really gorgeous yellow. 
really pretty yellow perfect for spring mm. I find it's like a, a, a fruity floral I feel like this would make a, a really nice um, body spray or even just in the body care line altogether let me pop out the bottom mm. really nice really sweet I think it's perfect for spring I can't wait for a really nice sunny day where I got my windows open and I got this melting that's here come the sunflowers uh, let's see here. Okay, dude. We've got um, Bonfire Beach. Okay, this one here has been around for years. Uh, I feel like it's like a, a fan favorite. Um, it's not listed as a, a bestseller, but I feel like it's been around for a long time that maybe it should just be considered a, list, a bestseller. Really nice green, like minty color kind of wax. Uh, the scent is toasted marshmallow, smoldering over white flint and sandalwood, harmonized with salty sea air and ocean spray. The way I describe this one is, um, I feel like you're at the beach, roasting marshmallows over the fire. And like, there's like a manly smell in there, like maybe you're with some guy, it smells really good. It's just really lovely, I have it in the room spray. Um, I'm trying to think, this is just one of those bars that I get every year and I always get a, a few over the the summer especially I feel like this is really great for those summer evenings uh bonfire beach to me must have just love it uh next up on the list is um actually another one I've never tried and it's called paradise punch hang on I assumed it would be in the fruity category but I don't see it there it's a citrus apparently oh I see why uh, a medley of wild Indian orange sunny lemon juice is it acai or acai berries and star fruit not sure what the uh, acai or acai berries and star fruit smell like but I just never tried this one this is a customer they ordered two bars I should show you really pretty colored wax nice and bright again Perfect for spring, summer. I've had fruit punch, you know, juice, you know, and whatnot. So to me, it just feels like mm, it's just fruit punch, nothing special. But we'll see. Like I said, I'm, I'm judging. <laughs> I'll admit it. I'm judging. I'm prejudging. Mm, this is really nice. It smells like fruit punch, but maybe I should give it a try. Well, it smells really nice. Um, definitely like a fruit punch smell, but I can see my... Um, my living room kitchen area smell like this during the summer. Again, <laughs> windows open, that kind of thing. I just love the, the fresh air, the breeze blowing through my, my home. Uh, so that's Paradise Punch. Maybe I will try. I'll keep that one in mind. Uh, what else we got? Oh, here's a new release, Vanilla Waves. So this one here is described as sea salt and whipped vanilla crash into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. Now this one here, it's like a beigey color. Um... I think I think I already got one or two bars. So this will be like my, my second or third bar. It's really good. I, I find this is like creamy vanilla and caramel. I'm not sure about the salty sea air, but really, really good. Um, I definitely want to get a few more bars and you know really give it a good have like my whole house going kind of thing and really you know get a good sense of the smell kind of thing. Uh, so we got some more here. Another new release is Tangerine Creamsicle. Um, these aren't for me. These are for customer and. To me, it smells like a creamsicle. To me, I, I just, I smell creamsicle. Hang on, let me pop that out. Yeah, this smells like a, a one of those creamsicles that you would get. Um, the description is icy tangerine blended with mango and vanilla cream swirl make the sweetest tropical treat. Sounds good to me. Uh, next up, I've got, where is that one? Peach Nectar. Now, Peach Nectar, I tried it last year for the first time and ended up really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it should be fruity. I, I, I looked at the fruity, but I apparently skipped over that little area. Peach Nectar, delicate peach skin and blue freesia settle into a bed of billowy musk clouds. I always describe this one as a, a really pretty, fresh, peachy, perfumey almost. Not quite perfume, but you know, like this would make a really good body spray, body hair line. Mm, this is good. If you like peach, if you like apricot vanilla, you'll like this one. Mm, this is really nice. And um, I'll probably get more of these for the summertime. 
All right, another one we got here is da, 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 lemon sorbet. Nice yellow wax. It says fresh cut lemon and grapefruit zest sweetened by sugarcane. I feel like I mostly get lemon, but I think I remember melting this before and my husband noticing the grapefruit and complaining. But I'm going to see if I can sneak this one past him. It's been a, a year or so. We'll try. Yeah, I can get a bit of grapefruit, but I get mostly lemon. So we'll see. I really like this one. Lemon sorbet. It's a really good one. Okay, got three more left. Uh, this one here is a new release, Sand Swept. This one um, piqued my curiosity. Blue ocean water breaks on the coastline over sandstone, driftwood, and pink lemon groves. I haven't smelt it, so I'm not sure. Mm. What does this say here? Blue ocean water, sandstone, driftwood, pink lemon. So I feel like it would be like a lemony aquatic kind of scent. And um, if you've ever tried Stitch, I find that one's like a, a fruity aquatic, and I really enjoy that one. So mm. This smells really nice. Um, not like your typical aquatic, if that makes sense. I feel like this is more along the lines of, um, let me just see, is this a, a fresh? Oh, it's under citrus. Yeah, it's under citrus. I felt like this would have been a fresh one. I feel like it's like, I don't know. I would have considered it fresh, but anyways, that's just me. Let me know what you think of sand swept. Have you tried it? Do you find it, it doesn't, on cold is definitely gonna be different than when you melt it, but I feel like it's a, a light to medium kind of one. But that's sand swept. And I've got two more bars here to, to, to go through and then we're done. So next one is another one I haven't tried, which is Be Fabulous. This one was a scent of the month. It was with that warmer that was the, the beautiful peacock feathers and all that. So basically, uh, Be Fabulous says bright lemon cello sparkles against a splash of ruby grapefruit and sweet sugared musk. This one here, um, pretty sure I got it in like, um, you know, when you get the whiff boxes and you get one of those little scent cups. I think it's equivalent to like, I don't know, one and a half cubes or two cubes, something like that. That's where I tried this one and I find it didn't, it wasn't enough for me to get a good sense. When I want to get a good sense of a smell, I like putting this like everywhere. And then I can walk around my home and not get interrupted kind of thing by other scents. So when I tried that, I found it seemed similar to the, um, we're all mad here, the Cinderella one, the Cheshire Cat scent. So I decided to get a bar so I, I didn't really quite try it. And I can give it a good shot and, and see. But this smells really good. I don't know. On cold sniff, it, it smells similar to that one from what I can remember. But like I said, we'll see. Maybe, like I said, when I melt it, I'll get a, a better sense of the smell. So this one's new to the catalog, but technically not really new because it was a scent of the month. Another one, uh, the last one I should say is, um, it was new to the catalog last year. I've never tried it. It's Iridescent Pearl. It says here, lustrous layers of ripe, juicy mango, apple blossom, wind down with tranquil water lotus. And it's a fresh scent. So I feel like it's going to be a, a fruity aquatic scent. So that sounded interesting. And I feel like I've heard people say it's on the light side. So I guess we'll see. Mmm. This reminds me of aloe water cucumber. I feel like if you like that scent, you'd like this one. Hmm. Yeah. Iridescent pearl. I, I feel like this reminds me of aloe water and cucumber. Like they're related. Some cousins or whatever. Can't wait to try this one. So that's iridescent pearl. So now you can... <clears throat> sorry. Now you can see why I ended up splitting into two parts. Because um, that was a lot of wax. And I have to say, now that I've gone through it all... I want to say it's like, what is it? 50, 40, my wax, 50%. No, that's not, that doesn't make any sense. 60, 40, 60, 40, 60, my mind, 40% customer wax. Anyways, um, that's it. <laughs> that's all my wax. Um, it was a pretty big order. I don't usually do big orders, but I was super excited to try a bunch of new things from the catalog. And uh, if you didn't watch part one, I'll link it below. And I uh, hope everyone has a great weekend. Hope everyone is having a good Friday. And um, I don't know. Hope the weather's going good wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye.